Hello, Linus. Here we are given that A, B, C are angles of a triangle and we need to prove that sin 2A plus sin 2B plus sin 2C is 4 sin A sin B sin C. Fine. Now, since A, B, C are angles of a triangle, okay, what can you think? A plus B plus C is pi. Okay. A plus B plus C is pi. 180 degrees. Because sum of angles in a triangle is 180 degrees. Now, let's start with LHS. Okay. See, this is what we need to prove. I just kept it at the top of every slide so that, you know, you can refer to it easily. Now, this is what is my LHS and I'm going to prove that this would be equal to RHS. Fine. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to group the first two terms in a bracket. Okay. And then I'm going to apply certain formula. See, I took them in one bracket so that it would be very clear to the examiner that, okay, this is on these two terms. I'm going to apply the formula. Okay. Now, this is nothing but equal to this because of this formula. Okay. Sin C plus sin D is 2 sin C plus D by 2 cos C minus D by 2. Okay. Now, uh, in place of C and D, there are 2 and 2B. If you'll observe sin 2A plus sin 2B is 2 sin 2A plus 2B by 2 cos 2A minus 2B by 2. Fine. As per this formula. Now, uh, within this bracket, 2 would get cancelled overall and here also 2 would get cancelled overall. I'd be left out with 2 sin A plus B cos A minus B plus sin 2C. Okay. Next. Uh, since a plus b plus c is equal to pi, okay, since a plus b plus c is equal to pi, if I'll send c to the other side, I'd get a plus b as pi minus c. I'd get a plus b as pi minus c. So in place of a plus b here, I'm going to put it as pi minus c. Okay, 2 sine pi minus c cos a minus b plus sine c. Don't forget to mention the reason like this, okay, a plus b plus c is equal to pi. So a plus b is equal to by minus C. It would, you know, give a very good impression to the examiner that, okay, this person who is writing, you know, has a clear understanding of how he or she is writing. Fine. Now, sine pi minus theta is sine theta. Okay. You need not have to mention it. So, sine pi minus C is sine C. So, I am left out with 2 sine C cos A minus B plus 2 sine C cos C. Now, sine 2 C is nothing but 2 sine C cos C. Okay. Why? Because sine 2 A is 2 sine A cos A. Okay. So, sine 2 C would be 2 sine C cos C. Now, in these two terms, I'm going to take two sin C common. Okay. I'm going to take two sin C common. So if I take that, you know, I'm left out with cos of A minus B plus cos C. Now, uh, this is of the form A minus B. So I want to get convert this to something like A plus B. Okay. Now, how I'm going to do it is since A plus B plus C is pi, uh, C would be nothing but pi minus of A plus B. Okay. So in place of C, I'm going to write it as cos pi minus of A plus B. And again, don't mention to reason like this since, you know, this, uh, this is this. So. This is this. Don't forget to mention it. I, I you could mention it adjacent to the step or below the step like this, leaving a little step, a little space. I mean, not step, little space. Next, uh, cause of pi minus theta is minus cos theta. Okay, so this would be nothing but minus cause of a plus b. Okay, so two sine c into cause of a minus b minus cos of a plus b. Okay, so here I have two sine c into cause of a minus b minus cos of a plus b. Now cos of a minus b minus cos of a plus b is 2 sin a sin b, okay, 2 sin a sin b. So, uh, in place of this, I'm going to put it as 2 sin a sin b. Now, don't forget to mention the reason again, since cos of a minus b minus cos of a plus b is 2 sin a sin b. Now, multiply 2 into 2, you have 4 sin a sin b sin c. That's it. We are done. Uh, you understood how I mentioned, you know, in a systematic way and gave reasons for, you know, various steps, how this is this and, you know, I used what is given. So this is how if you write, you know, you are sure to get full marks. Fine. So thank you. Uh, in case you like this video, please hit the like button. And if this is your first thing coming across my channel, please do subscribe to it.